Hi everybody, we'd like to give you a tour of the new town show at Harbor Hotel Province Sound. So, here is Jim and he's going to walk us through some of the paintings. Thanks Spencer. We have some great pictures in the show, many of which have never been seen before. Uh, here's a little Jane Jarvis Mumford. She studied here with Charles Hawthorne in 1915. Uh, Max Baum, who was a teaching assistant and a friend of Charles Hawthorne's very rare watercolor. And he's related to? Uh, Ann Packard. Ann Packard. Grandfather? Grandfather. Grandfather, okay. And Daisy Hughes came here from California. Nancy Wharf remembers her riding on her bicycle and carrying her paintings around town. Uh, these are two nice little views on each side of the Maurice Burns, who was also from California. Uh, they were both taught out there and came here during the summers. Uh, nice view, looking out down into the harbor. Yeah, no, the Daisy Hughes. Daisy Hughes. She is such an amazing painter, and these are really affordable paintings. One of, one of, one of my favorites is this great view of uh, Bradford Street, uh, painted by Mary Spencer Nay. <laughs> came here from Kentucky. She lived up above here, looking down on my old house at 248 Bradford. You see in the background uh, what was the Surfside Motel. And of course, during a hurricane, um, it became damaged and they thought, oh, this is great. And then instead of when they repaired it, they added an extra floor. And it became the precursor to Provincetown zoning laws uh, to keep height restrictions. But it was known as the Layer of the Green Monster because it was originally a painted green. Green, green Monster, here, it's pretty amazing, right? <laughs> you know, Elspeth and Tony Beaver's house, uh, Philly Alexander's truck who used to own my old house. And now, uh, hi, Garth and Doug. Here's your house. <laughs> uh, looking good. Mary Lewis, school teacher. Um, again, the house right there. Irene Rabinowitz, hello in Israel. Hi, Irene. <laughs> Hi, Irene. <laughs> and okay. another highlight is this Frank Carson watercolor done in 1921. It's Gale Force Farm. Um, as you know, it's not quite so bucolic now with um, a lot of the housing and everything that's gone up through the hills since 1921. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful though. Okay, let's go to the other side. Excuse this beautiful view at the Harbor Hotel. You can come out here and sit. Enjoy a drink out there. Okay. These, these were two of our uh, very recent discoveries by artist Samuel Brecker, another Hawthorne student uh, who came here. You're looking up Standish Street, and here over is the ticket booth uh, where he's picking up his tickets for the railroad uh, when it used to run here in the late 19th century and then into the beginning of the 20th century. Uh, that looks real in this video. I mean, it's quite amazing, really beautiful. Okay. Um, now here we're on Conwell Street, uh, the Conwell Street crossing where the rain, railroad yard came into town. You can see Town Hall up in the background. And again, this was the first one we discovered. And then luckily we found this great one of the, of the ticket booth too. Beautiful. Um, okay. Uh, very unusual Philip Malicote painting uh, that shows where Ann Packard's gallery is currently. It was Christian Science uh, Church, and again, you get that wonderful uh, Malicote palette from his studies with Dickinson. And another Daisy Hughes uh, of Victory uh, at the Harbor. And one of the rarer paintings that we have is this market scene uh, by Harriet Newhall. Came here from Philadelphia. Uh, you see the old grocery store uh, down uh, on Commercial Street in the center. Um, nice. Somewhere in the vicinity of the aquarium now. Okay, trying not to disturb the people eating their breakfast. Apologies. Uh, Oscar Giebrick, uh, a nice monoprint. Uh, Oscar was uh, Charles Hawthorne's teaching assistant, um, again, and Dorothy Lake Gregory uh, often joked that she learned more from Giebrick than she did from Hawthorne. Ooh. <laughs> Snap. 
<laughs> Ernest Principato, uh, then uh, View in the West End, Fine Pastel. Uh, it's wonderful. Uh, Henrietta Dunn Mears, uh, The Quiet Lane. It's gorgeous. Uh, shown its, its original frame with labels on the back from its first exhibitions in uh, the Provincetown Art Association and other communities. So, what type of years would this be, probably? I mean, approximately? I the teens or teens? The teens, okay. It's, it's just stunning. It's stunning. Oh, Jim's gonna look. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a treat. Uh, uh, the third annual it's exhibition, um, 1917. Um, it was shown at Newport in 1918. And again, uh, the Portland Society of Art in Portland, Maine. Wow, thank you for showing us that. Okay. So come over here. Yeah, we've got a couple of Evelyn Bourne uh, watercolors. Again, one of our featured artists this year. Uh, you see Town Hall uh, up in here. The it's just amazing. I have her watercolors of Provence Town. They're just my favorite things, she, I think. She showed, uh, she showed uh, well, I guess we could show the other one while we're on the, on the Bourne track, St. Peter's before it burned down. Um, again, these were done probably in the 20s. Uh, Evelyn Bourne was a close friend of Blanche Lazelle and Dorothy Loeb and exhibited at the Art Association from 1930 to up into the 50s when she passed away. Apologies for the glare. Okay. We do. We do have um, several contemporary renderings, and including this lovely uh, watercolor and gouache by Ray Nolan, uh, the Mill McMillan Pier. Super. Around the corner, looking out uh, into Provincetown Harbor, you see Long Point over there, and the fishing fleet in town. This is amazing. Um, this is done by William Halsell, who is uh, one of the five founders of the Art Association, one wow. of the lesser known to people today, but uh, one of the more important painters uh, in the late 19th century, you know, with a gigantic uh, studio in the old shirt factory uh, here in town. Wow, that's pretty special. Okay. And another um, view of looking down Miller Hill uh, by Catherine Lee Smith. Uh, again, Catherine uh, learned from her grandmother, Farrell Wartham, the technique of the white line print, who learned it directly from Blanche Lazelle. Um, she maintained a studio over in the West End uh, with Angel Meyer, another artist who studied with Carl Knaths. What's pretty remarkable about several of these pictures is that we've got all these views from the from Miller Hill, and this is actually Jim's view from his house, because yeah. he actually lives in uh, the house at Cambridge above, Webster. Above here, and you above see here. you're looking down Lovett's Court, and you've got the, uh, where Simi Merrillis' gallery is. Uh, the Muse restaurant was not there at the time. Um, again, this was a, kind of an interesting a uh, Christmassy mural from uh, the estate of J Jimmy Majestic, um, and who had a Christmas shop. Um, you may remember our wonderful holiday show uh, last December. So Nancy Ward painted some incredible scenes for you. It's just cozy. <laughs> okay, we just got a couple more around the corner. Another minute before. Uh, on commercial street. Uh, Again, she they moved on into her palette knife painting. Great view, really capturing the hustle and bustle of town. Her daughter, Julie Kelly, uh, again, artistic legend, Nancy, the uh, daughter of John Wharf, and Julia, the daughter of Nancy, uh, generations of Wharf family artists. Uh, this is part of a recent study uh, out of out of the dunes where she stayed working on her new children's book, Victor. We'll be having a book signing at the gallery this Friday. 
Oh, is that from Monument? In Van, is that Van Gogh? This is not one of the collection, but it certainly is a town view, isn't it? It's pretty incredible. Starry, starry <laughs> night. If you ever need murals, come here. Um, David Thompson, again, uh, a wonderful painter, uh, loves the Dune Shacks, uh, did a whole book on Dune Shacks that we have available in the gallery as well. There's other paintings by David. Great, and that's it. Thanks, Jim. That was a great tour. and. Um, so stop on by the Harbor Hotel. This show is going to be up through the summer until about September 6th. Um, so we've got plenty of opportunity and just contact us if you're interested in purchasing anything. We would be glad to replace it <laughs> with something else and let you take it home with you. Thanks everyone.